One. Certain players, even at top level, tend to hit the balls a little too hard under pressure. Zhao is not one of them. Seven. In fact, he Eight. doesn't really hit the ball at all. He strokes it so smoothly. You're talking about amateur players, club players. They kind of hit at the ball, but when you see the cue goes right through the ball for certain players, there you see he's gone through four or five inches beyond the ball. There's as I say, a lesser player would just hit it and 13. the cue would stop straight away. 14. And it's all timing. The question of hitting the ball at the moment when your cue is accelerating the most. It's easy for me to talk about it. It's a little more difficult to do, I can tell you. And sometimes it, it just comes right for a player. 19. Unexpectedly, they just hit the ball to perfection. Things just click into gear. 20. And we've seen plenty of that from him this season. His cue was in a good place to do a number of things here. He could go into the bunch, or if he believes the plant is there, then he could play on that. So that was a good positional shot. He didn't mean to kiss that other red, but if the plant's on, I don't suppose it matters. He's got to play a three ball plant now. 32. So this now is not so easy because the first red is coming at the two reds from an angle, which means it could throw offline. Require more accuracy. Oh, that's really well played. That's what well worked. Be happy with the other red in 33. Stayed out as well. Let's back up forward. And it looked as though if he was going to have problems, it might be towards the near jaw. In fact, the red went in off the far jaw, and now he is away. 40. There's an Alan's oh. angle in there somewhere. 41. He's probably already done one, but he could explain it better than anybody. It's going to disappoint him greatly. Jiaoxing Tong, 41. Just ticking it over really nicely there and then just overcut it. I'd be annoyed. He's done a lot of hard work to make this break possible. One. Eight. Nine. And sometimes at this game, it, it's not really about the frames that you should win. It's the frames that you should win, but you lose. Especially in a longer match against a top player. Here could be a frame that John Higgins might well have lost. 17. <coughs> 24. 25 32 Thank you. 33 40 41 48. It would plant a seed of doubt 49. in Zhao's mind. 46. Only himself to blame, 56. and he knows it. Well, purposely leaving quite an angle on this black 57. so that uh, the last thing that could go wrong, really, this shot. It has gone wrong. I, I said it, but I didn't Got really think he'd miss it. 57. Wow. What a ball to miss. He knew for all well that he was going to be in behind the yellow. 5. Well, this frame is a story of two missed blacks, Phil, isn't it? It is the second, if Nine. anything, a little easier than the first. Fourteen. 
Twenty. Twenty-seven. An early blow and well, it looked as though Xiao might be the one who has the blow inflicted on him. John Higgins should have led 2-1. Eighty-four. Well, this will be special if you pass this. And develops the red. Eighty-nine. Ninety. Yeah, just a small glimpse there of why a certain Mr. O'Sullivan calls him the special one, the chosen one almost. He's got every tool in the bag that you'd ever need as a snooker player, as I say, plenty to learn. This cream for the first century of the Kazoo Tour Championship. 102. He's 26th of this season. He's in with the big boys, isn't he, this week? But he's the number one seed, remember? Top of that one year list for the season. One. The scenic route. One hundred and seventy. Fabulous break in the end from Changing Tom. Absolutely superb. Six. Eight. Eleven. Uh, another really fascinating frame. <coughs> One snooker needed. John Higgins, eleven. Yeah, that's very inviting, isn't it? Pink and black there. Great effort. This is about even money, the hit, I would say. Not this time. Wow. She has in tongue for. You can now win the frame. This white is very close. Wow. Wow. Xiao Zing Tong for. Yeah, such a massive frame, isn't it? As we know, Xiao Zing Tong would, can on occasion be a devastating front runner, as we saw in the final out in Berlin. A huge frame. Okay. The one thing he doesn't want to do here is lift the pink. So that's a mini mistake. Such a delicate shot to play. He's played it brilliantly. Outside Chan speculative double. The green pocket. Just trying to send. Well, he didn't play it, actually. 
using the pink to just shield the cue ball, keep it down this end. He's worried. Against most pl most players, you wouldn't be worried about leaving that brown. But Zintong ain't, ain't most players. Does even he fancy this? Something for everyone there, wasn't there? He could pot it. He only needs the brown. Wow, miss. an interesting pace wasn't it that you played it Joe being left handed shouldn't be a problem nothing to do with the cue ball of course the pot's not easy but it's all about the pot so remember he needed a snooker initially he got the penalty points and now he needs these three balls to lead by two. Nine. Fifty. Many players, let's be honest, win frames against Higgins having got snookers. So it's a big one to win Thank for sure. sure. Frame. Biggest yeah, frame so far so. of this match. Yeah, now the only problem here with this red, I mean, it's a tough enough pot as it is, but he's going to have to work the cue ball to get it out for a high black, so this becomes very missable, the red. You have to play it with a certain 38. amount of pace. just didn't like it. So he eventually played it where he, he couldn't develop the two difficult reds and in the end it was almost a, a lack of commitment on the shot. It's a shot you hardly ever play. Oh, right in the heart again. This has come from almost nothing. There's still an awful lot of work to do. 20. Blue to pink. 27. Well, at least I've the blues come away from the pockets. Blues addressing the cue ball. It looks very much like he's taking this on.
John goes back to his chair with a bit of a wince there because he knows this is the strength of the young man. Not this time. Oh, he's gotten away with it in a fashion. John has a glance at the left middle pocket. It's the double. Just avoided it. But very good. And that's what he's done today. He's competed with John. Five. Well, every little helps. <laughs> little? Yeah. That was big. Yeah, that was huge. And so was this pink then. John Higgins. Now feeling the blues, Higgins in the pink. One. It was one of those that you would describe as almost a proper snooker shot, isn't it? Right in the heart of the pocket. Six. Twelve. He's got that one red to the left of the black. That's not a huge worry, but it's the 13. one thing that John's got to deal with. And knowing John as I do, he'll already have it in his mind of how, how to deal with 20. it. 20. 21. 28. Twenty-nine. John Higgins. Twenty-nine. One. Eight. So the pink is obviously going to help him. Fifteen. 23 points the difference 16. and so the blue will do and it's all dissipated on that missed pink 23 26. 30. All of the great players have suffered from the same thing. As their careers go on, they become 35. more prone to missing easy balls. 41. And the pink was certainly easy. Hard to stomach for the Scot. 48 and 10. As Jasmine Tong doesn't make a mistake from there. The two-frame buffer zone is re-established. That's better. Eight. John Higgins. Eight. Yeah, talking about basic air. think about Seven. the winning line, they just seem to be able to play. Even there, that's lovely, just nice control. Nothing panicky. Thirty three. The black spot looks a bit tied up. Hmm. Well, no, what happened there? I think it was the wrong what? shot, but didn't seem to give it a lot of care and attention. 
Missed it by a long way. Well, he's done what Higgins needs, which is to give him an easy starter. One. You kind of think John needs to win the frame at this visit. 44. That would give him a bit of confidence. But there's another one of those. John Higgins. Unbelievable misses, really. You just can't explain it. Every time you think he's getting a bit of rhythm, he just puts one of those in. Those sort of mistakes, just out of nowhere. Yeah, he's missed. Lots of easy balls today, thick and thin. It's not just one way that he's missing. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Obviously a lot easier when you're 8-4 ahead and 8-4 down, but this was quality. Six. Yeah, not the shot of a man who's frightened of the winning line, clearly. Seven. Pretty straight to me. Mm. And, and probably trying to pinch a bit of the pocket Seven. to make the cannon. He's taking his eye off the pot. Well, as you said, Higgins is going to need some help if this is going to turn around. And this is another chance that maybe earlier on he wouldn't have got. Already with a reasonable lead. Six. Seven. One. Well, that is a good sign. If they're going in. Well, his head sinks to the floor. It was a very poor shot. 29. For the red to left middle. Needless to say, much more difficult than it should have been. That's a great recovery. 30. He needs another good shot here. Pot the black into the reds again. Don't forget to pot the black. Crazy, he didn't really get John Higgins into 30. the meat of the bunch as intended. Seven. Could have left something a lot easier. John's cause and getting back into his match if he gets a good run of balls. Higgins. Foul. No miss. Nineteen. One. A weird mixed bag, hasn't it? Those sort of balls he's been knocking in all day. He's not quite brought the cue ball back far enough. He'd want to be straighter on this pink to left middle. Still straight enough to hold the cue ball. But there's another one. And it was... John Higgins. He was almost Seven. on the walk as soon as he hit the cue ball. But the match still has to be won, and Chow One. maybe just needs to really focus here. Yeah, he's got to stamp his authority yeah. back on this match. He's outscored his opponent by a long way in terms of breaks. Three century breaks. Eight. <laughs> Thirteen. Forty.
19. Yeah, I was in so. Yeah, he's not being 19. as ruthless now, is he, in <laughs> punishing the John Higgins errors? Reluctant to say this is One, a chance to win six. the frame at this visit. The misses that John has produced today. John Higgins at his best. You would say this is 8 7. Seven. But both players now having their own, playing their own unforced errors. Make no mistake, John Higgins will be sensing weakness <coughs> in his opponent. 34. 35. No, it definitely doesn't go. So, can then knock the one away from the, the black spot. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've got the black knock to the green spot. Sometimes when your opponent comes back at you and, and you don't get a chance, you, you, you still feel okay in yourself, but he's had chances since the interval. And he's played one or two nervy shots. The ready missed in this frame was a really poor effort. So... He's going to have to win this match, Charles Sintong. Tong. John Higgins is not going to gift it to him. Maybe looked that way before the interval, but not now. He's done it again. <laughs> it's frame Higgins. ball plus one, 56. isn't it? You know, that goes in, there's no playing on. Yeah, it's almost as if his concentration <laughs> levels is lasting one. about four or five minutes, and after that, it's, it's going. What's up? Yao Zing Tong, set. <coughs> One. Nine. This is not an easy hit. Object ball in the middle of the table. And that was not easy. Well, and now, as you see, Zhao can win. a big shot to take on at that acute angle. Okay, he is a phenomenal potter into the middles, but maybe that was one he should have refused. Desperate to get this match won. And this time, John Higgins does win. His third frame in a row. Didn't pot it. John Higgins relieved. 25 frame. Catch John Higgins. Has got the snooker. So Higgins has won three on the spin, and there's just one in it now. It's 8-7. Just not finding the target, is he, from long range, which he certainly was earlier. Yeah, plain and simple, he's feeling the pressure. He probably thinks this match should have been done and dusted by now. And now he's starting to twitch. One. So mentally tough to master. You've got to sit in your chair. As I said, he probably thought this match should have been over by now. He's watched John Higgins, easy miss after easy miss, and yet he's still in this match. Only one frame behind and at the table. You've got to somehow try and give yourself positive thoughts, but it's not easy. 
body language there wasn't good, was it? Chow Sin Tong. John Higgins' best contribution for whole day. And from 8-4 down, he's won four on the spin. So this now, a best of three. The red on the right-hand side at the bottom of the bunch. I'm not sure that's available to the right middle. And there it is. Oh dear. It was a very, very risky shot. I'm not going to criticise him for taking it on because you, you know, you want to win the match. You want to do it positively. But John Higgins has got all the momentum. What costly is it going to be? John Higgins, as we said, made his highest break of the match in the previous frame. Eight. So nine. Well, it is a wonderful chance, isn't it? He said this morning when I interviewed him that he enjoyed his snooker more than ever. Fifty. Yeah, the most important stage of the match. John Higgins is getting 22. stronger, and Zhao Sing Tong is getting weaker. It's only one 23. winner for me of this match at the moment. It's maybe a bit strong to say that Zhao Sing Tong cannot win this match at this stage, but just looking at the way he's hitting the ball, the way he's striking the ball, doesn't look confident. Twenty-eight. Body language isn't great. You say, I almost want to say bread and butter stuff for him. The business end of a match. He's done it so often. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Another careless one. Waiting for the cue ball to go past the green. Smiled about the little positional error he made, and then he got down and knocked the green in. 39. 44. 45. 52. Mm, missed it. Mr. Cannon. Again, looks to the heavens. Charles and Tom is still in this frame. John Higgins, 59. Well, 59 just didn't get into them as he intended, but good lead. Higgins one. Wow, that's gone all wrong. Those reds near the left cushion, as say for a left hander, no real problem. Just how is he feeling one. inside? Seven. Eight. I'm trying to get the black back on the spot, but I don't think the angle's ideal for dropping on a red from this black. Yeah, the cue ball going away from the reds. Fifty. Too close, was it? 50. And John Higgins just needs the red. Yeah, I think in this match, Charles Sintong, okay, what? he's won two tournaments and he's just finding out how tough it can be at this level when you're competing time and time again against the very best. He's had some help. Zhao has struggled. It's all turned around. Eight.
Nearly didn't actually, and the blue's close. Got the snooker, he's got the snooker. <laughs> Well, there's one. Well, obviously not going to be a free ball, but shows in song for. You just never know. It's been. Uh... Well, yeah. Well, there you go. John Higgins. Fight. That is that. I'm afraid for this frame. He's on his frame. John Higgins. He's under all sorts of pressure, isn't he? And John Higgins has won five on the spin. He's ahead for the first time. Nine eight. One more, and he's the winner. Yeah, John left the arena after winning the last frame, and, and I'm. Surprised Joe St. Tong didn't do the same. Just get out of there for a couple of minutes. Maybe throw some water in your face, freshen yourself up, because it's not been good since then, all you have to say. Well, that's unbelievable. Not just the fact that Charles St. Tone didn't make contact with this red, but that he's not left John Higgins an easy opener. Yeah, good pop. So, first chance for Higgins to win this match. But you don't have to be an expert in body language, do you, to appreciate that that young man is struggling badly because he was playing so well in the earlier part of the match. Yeah, as I said before, his game's weakened at the wrong end of the match. There's a, a strong word for it that I'm not going to use, but he'll learn from this if he does go on to lose. Four. He should have had this match wrapped up. He knows it. Five. That's it. When you get to this end of the match, talent kind of goes out the window. It's about more than that. Twelve. Thirty. Ninety. He's got raised the butt of the cue in the air, so he's going to try and force the cue ball up the table. 20. Not the best kiss in the blue. It's been a battle all day, and it still is now. It's nothing to come in simple, is it? So we cut this by quite some distance. John Higgins, 20. One. Well, this is more like it, isn't it? From Zhao. But it's just one pot. Does it lead to anything more significant? Put it this way, if he wins the match from here, then he will approve something to everybody, himself included. Four. Yeah, he's at the point of no return. Nine, eight down. Sometimes you can, your arm can relax a little bit. Five. I don't know what the angle's like. He may be tempted to go into the three reds and black here and put on this pink. Play the cannon. Maybe just <coughs> too wide an angle. Twelve. Eighty. Ninety. Why is a 
phenomenal middle bag potter and positional side of the shot isn't straightforward. Maybe playing for the plant to right corner. And just dropping the pink in. 25. You just drop high on that. And be able to move the red away from the black. 26. And looks pretty good. Yeah, just enough angle just to screw that red out of the way that's closest to the black. Let me send it towards the right corner pocket. And that'll do. So he's just starting to find a bit of rhythm again. Well, yeah, I mean, it's his first 30 break since frame 12. And here we are in frame 18. Thirty-four. At eight four, he looked the only winner, and when he went nine eight down, John Higgins looked the only winner. But it may well be, it may well be, we need one more frame to sort it out. Forty-one. Forty-two. Well, he's not going to need the two reds on the right cushion. It's two blacks with these reds. Forty-nine. Fifty. Mm, just landed straight on the black. Now you can see if it screws back directly and goes into that red on the right cushion. We have to pinch up at the pocket, which he has done. Great shot. Great shot. Fifty-seven. So checks the scores. Checking them again. 37 in front, red with either pink or black, and it's Higgins and he's a snooker. And under the circumstances, this has been superb, this effort. If you can just knock this pink in, it's looking like nine each. Sixty-four. Yeah, great visit to the table. This has been from Zhao Sing Tong. He knew that Zing his Tom. next mistake 64. could be his last in this match. Fabulous visit to the table. to be a deciding frame finish on day one. 14. 16. 16. So, Zhao right. Sintong led 8-4. Zhao Higgins hit back to lead 9-8. Zhao stilled himself, proved his metal with that 64 latest frame. There's the hand shake. It's 9 all. It's the UK and German Masters champion, Zhao Sintong, to get us Side underway. Frame. Chosen tongue to break. So, real problems at the start of this frame for John Higgins. He's got to catch this well. The thin one. No, very good. Very, very good. here. Too thick. He could be in trouble. Yeah, pretty good. That's very good. Help there. He was in trouble. He's 
Get over the line. Chow flying. The new superstar looked like he was going to beat a legend comfortably. Then he fell behind. Now he's responded. And Higgins, of course, who got on a plane home from Gibraltar on Saturday, not knowing if he'd even be in the tournament. Wow, I'm this. I'm here. Well, the way the balls are getting tied up at this end of the table, 30 40 point lead could prove vital. Handful of open reds. He's played some excellent safety in this deciding frame. Charleston Turner. You would expect John Higgins to be the one to dominate these tactical exchanges, but he's been outplayed here as John. Ten minutes now, and not a ball potted. Of course, the four points were from a foul. Good grief. <laughs> oh, scenes. Oh, this is a horrible little shot. Yeah, he couldn't afford to be too cute with that. That was in song. Just make sure you get the cover on all the reds in the middle of the table. <coughs> wow, that is even better than the fluke. The run of the ball he's had there is phenomenal. Doesn't want to catch this thick. In the, in the end, he was so wary of the thick contact, he overcompensated and got it too thin. Left a pot on. A couple of chances actually. Neither easy. Nothing is at this stage. See, nearly 26 minutes since John Higgins potted one. One. He's been just scrapping all day, hasn't he? He's taking the black onto left corner, playing the cannon into the reds. The big shot coming up here. How aggressive does he want to be? Nothing's coming easy at the moment for John Higgins. This is end of break after this red. Eight. Well, if he's looking at leaving the blue, the right middle, well, that's such a tough shot. Nine. Well, he's looking at the pot and angle. What a tough pot this is. Well, that's outstanding. That is outstanding. Shot of the match for me. And if he's not in a red, well, he's been cursed. Because there was a very easy safety shot he could have played there. 40. Well, he was positive, he was just unlucky. John Higgins, 40. Well, again, could have left something a lot easier. This red to left middle may look simple on your screen, but that view there gives you more of an idea how difficult that is. Hardly any of the pocket to aim at here. Looks straightforward there, doesn't it? 
Thank you. Adrenaline there, overhitting that shot, played for red to left middle. In some of his defeats this year, John Higgins getting to finals, final frame defeats. He's been brutally honest, saying that he doesn't think he's got it anymore to compete in some of these big matches. But you watch him put these balls, very much still up for it for me. Yeah, you speak to the other players. They say, well, if John Higgins doesn't have it, who does? Can't avoid the cannon on the other two reds in pot in this one. We've trusted a little bit to luck with the position. We'll settle for that. 50. Well played. This is brilliant stuff from John Higgins, it really is. The blue he potted to right middle, 22. although that didn't ultimately give him this chance, it was a stunning pot. It must have given him so much confidence in himself to pot it. 23. And by now, could have been on the drive home at 8-4 down, but here we are, he's ahead in the decider. 29. Well, it looks like he's playing the red closest to the cushion. I might be tempted myself to play the other red, because you wouldn't be using the rest. This to me is a more difficult pot. Yeah, that was very tricky. I'd have played the other one. John Higgins. Not having to 29. use the rest on the cue ball to the right side of the table. One. Eight. Nine. That's no good. Unless he'll play a shot all around the world, as we say, all around the table. How is he going to get position on a red? I would suggest to just get the seven points and play a safety shot, but he's looking up at the bulk end. He's looking at a path. The trouble with this shot is you want a red that goes to the right corner, but there isn't one. Well, that to me was maybe a step too far. Trying to play that shot, yeah, it was almost top. like an exhibition shot. No. He got a fantastic positional side to it. <coughs> and it was very risky at this stage of a decider. One. So there you are, he's weighed it up, he's looked at the scoreboard and he's John looked Higgins to won. chip the blue safe. Could easily send a red towards the right corner pocket here. If it catches us too thick. And in fact he missed the red on the way up. Well, the deciding frame is the longest frame of the day. 28 minutes and counting. Higgins, 30 in front. A chance to extend the lead slightly here. One. Overdone it, though. <laughs> He's taken eight points off the table. Brown ball. John Higgins, one. <laughs> This would be one of Jameson Tone's best ever performances. We could win this match from this position. Yeah, the shutters are well and truly down, aren't they? No one's coming in. Looking at the possible plant. Wow, four ball plant. It was an aggressive shot. The only way he can win this frame is getting reds into place. So you can understand the shot, but if this red goes in, it could be all over. One. Mm. Huge pressure on it.
and in it goes. Well, you look back at some of the pinks to middle he missed earlier on today when he was in. What a turnaround. Eight. Fifty. He has turned this around in some style, proving yet again how difficult he is to beat. Twenty-one. John Higgins. Twenty-one. What an extraordinary Amber. start to the top championship. Day one. John Higgins wins an absolute thriller. He was eight-four down in all sorts of trouble against Yao Sing Tong. He's turned it around, and he's our first semi-finalist. John Higgins, the winner, by ten frames to nine.